Hello everybody, it's us on 18 and welcome to the Beta Branch video for November 20th, now on 1.5.5. To say that it was a small patch would be an understatement. This was a pretty massive patch with a lot of information contained in it. As you can see, here are the patch notes and they just go on and on and on it is a ton of information so obviously i am not going to go over all of this crazy information that's just not going to happen so if you want to see that there are people that actually do these and they do them really well um, but i will be going over some of these things that i will be touching base on just not all the information because it, I like to try to keep these as small as possible so that way you can get as much information just on the beta branch as possible not necessarily on the patch itself so we're not going to run through all of this however if you do want to there are people and Italian Spartacus is pretty good at doing these and he gets them out pretty soon I'm not sure if it's out yet but it is linked in my channel. He is a feature channel of mine, so check him out. So we're going to start out with just some very small things. We're not going to go through everything because there's just way too much information. However, there are some uh, crashes and bugs that are happening that some people are reporting that are pretty bad. However, it does not seem to be a majority of people. It definitely does seem to be in a minority. So... You know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, it doesn't appear to be too bad. But I am going to cover a few things that I think are a pretty big issue. I actually had it once where I could not enter any settlement. I would go to a town, a village, a castle, and I could not enter. And that was happening while you were a sieging. And then you declared peace on that kingdom in the middle of a siege. That, however, was fixed today in a hot fix right away. One thing that's going on is now a lot of the grain producing places, as you can see, are producing cows. You got a cow there, you got cows there. That is going to be fixed in the next, um, I would assume, update after today's update. Um, it wasn't fixed right now. But that will be fixed. So your brother also was not showing up in the inventory screen. After you completed the quest in which you would rescue your brother, you then couldn't view his inventory. That was also hot fix. The snowballing issue with the AI. This can get a little complex to say the least. Um, as everybody knows, the Kuzite run terrible and um you know especially the northern empire the southern empire and the uh surgeons are really getting wrecked mexico brought out uh, a nice thread in which they had done a lot of work in to try to figuring out what was going on and he was able to implement some changes that will be coming that is going to allow it to where where this is happening in virtually a we'll say 10 year time span and 20 to 30 years it looks nothing like this not much has changed in 20 years so it really looks like you need to get some more human interaction to really get things going but you're not going to have the snowballing however that is going to be in 1.5.6 the new radial dial system as you can see that is the new radial dial system where it goes in a circle like that a lot of people hate it and tell you the truth i hate it as well and let, uh, let i'll let you know exactly why i hate it i will target my archers and i'll tell them loose formation f3 f3 dismount, dismount. all right i'm going to tell my guys to get into a shield wall f2 f3 Loose formation. They're different. 
They're they're completely different, and people are absolutely hating it. So it is something that was brought out to make it easier for console players. So we've had to relearn the command system that we've been going for for months, just because they wanted to change it for for console players. Hopefully, they get this work done. It would just be really nice. Workshops. Workshops are a lot more profitable now. Now, I will say this. Tanneries are OG right now, but don't expect them to stay that way. The reason why tanneries are OP right now is because caravans are not distributing the animals. So therefore, if a town produces those animals for a tannery, the caravans aren't taking those animals away. So they have a full stock. And you can make over 400 with tanneries right now. That is going to change. So if you don't mind using the, you know, the OP system, which I actually do myself, I use whatever is OP at the moment, um, don't expect it to be that way. So it will change. However, on a, on a normal scale, everything is better. You should definitely notice a difference. No more 50 to 75 workshops. Workshops should be hitting 100 to 200. That was a great job done by Mexico. Um, he did an amazing job with that. He's also worked on the snowballing issue. Mexico has done some absolutely amazing work lately. Um, he deserves a lot of credit. Now, I don't want to dive too much into this because as far as the skill trees are concerned that were reworked, I have actually done two videos on these. And I will link to both of the videos. The throwing tree has been completely finished so that's done the medicine skill tree was reworked um, I covered that in a video uh, there are some perks that are not implemented yet and that's where they always come back and say we finished them off so they're going to finish off those as well I think it was very well done there are some really really nice perks in there the leadership skill tree was also redone that was not put in the patch notes so i made a video for that as well the one thing i will mention well actually i want to mention two things one is uh there's a great perk up at 225 to actually get you another party um as you know you can only have a, ma a maximum of four parties when you get clan tier four yourself and three others even up to clan tier six you can only have four However, that 225 perk allows you to have another one. The other one I will touch on is going to be in leadership. And that is the loss. As you can see, where is disciplinarian? It is gone. I do not know what their intentions are. I've been trying to get a hold of somebody to figure out. I got a hold of Mexico. He does not deal with the perks. I've been trying to get a hold of Callum to find out. To try to see what is their intention. Are they planning to get rid of it? Are they planning to implement it in one of the not implemented perks? I don't know yet. I have not got a clarification from Tail World as to what is their intention with it. Now if you go to upgrade a bandit, which I'm sure I don't have any bandits on this guy right now. The little red button will be there and will not let you upgrade it like you don't have disciplinarian. But the button is still there. Now I will say this, the town castle trick where you throw them in the garrison still works. I have verified it. Now a lot of people just throw, you know, all the bandits in them and let them build up on their own. I don't do that. I build them up so the little mark here says that they're ready to increase, like, oh, okay, here we go, force bandit. This will be red. But what I don't do is I don't throw him in the garrison. I let him fight until he's ready to go up and become a Fion. When that happens, you throw him in the garrison and literally overnight, he will become a Fion. So that is still working. I will say that I am 
pleasantly surprised by 1.5.5. I think it is actually one of the best stable patches they have put out. Now, we're not talking about, you know, with all the perks and some bugs and stuff like that. When you're talking stability, the ability to be able to get into the game and play, I feel it is an absolutely amazing patch they put out. There's always going to be problems. There's always going to be bugs and crashes. But as far as a patch is concerned, this, I think, could be one of the best ones they've ever had. And I, to this point, which is going to be absolutely mind-blowing to say, one day into a patch release, I would actually give it an approval to upgrade to. I am that pleased with it. I really think it's that good. As, and I'm only talking stability here. We're not talking about anything else. I'll talk about that in a second. As far as a stable branch, the beta branch at this moment, I think is amazing. Now, of course, they can make changes. It is a beta branch. So they can make a change next week that could, could totally cause things to go haywire. But however, at this moment, I would say it's okay. With that being said, I will give you a caution. There is a report on the forums that when you go from 1.5.5 back down to 1.5.4, it is corrupting a save. So that is my caution that I'm going to give to you. If there's a chance that you want to go from 1.5.5 back to 1.5.4, then I would say you might want to hold off for now. Um, I have not gotten a lot of word on what exactly is going on with that, you know, save file getting corrupted, but I did see that report in the forums and I felt it was important enough to let you know that because I am endorsing 1.5.5. Let me discuss the upcoming 1.5.5 is not what we're looking for. The big deal is going to come in 1.5.6. And there are going to be some potential amazing things. One, the education system. How you start the game and you're able to pick different branches on how you want your skills to develop. You're going to be able to do that with your children as well. Two, the snowballing issue with clan, uh, these getting taken over so quick, that will be, that should, it's scheduled to be implemented in 1.5.6. I believe that's what Mexico said. And then of course, what other skills are they going to do? Because as you know, they still have charm, engineering. They still have these to do. And then of course, finishing off the leadership and the medicine perks that are not implemented yet. So I think 1.5.6 in as far as a content is going to be much better than 1.5.5. But as for a stable branch to the game, I will completely endorse 1.5.5. I hope to bring you some more information next week. Um, we can get a little bit more things tied down. Maybe I can get you some more information on Disciplinarian and some of the other things that are going on, maybe with that same file being corrupted and give you a little bit more answers. Well, however, we're only 24 hours into this and we've already had an, an amazing patch and an amazing hot fix. So they've done a pretty good job on that. So I will talk to you guys again next week. Take care and thanks for watching.